Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Ashley here, also aka That Girl Toby. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to be here again live for another Hi, Facebook everyone. Live Buzz, Buzz Social Podcast. I am so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have two awesome special dudes that are going to be coming your way. I'm interviewing two rock star kids today. Their names are Nico and Ezra. And I am so excited. This whole podcast. I started it because I just felt like I wanted to do something with the community. I wanted to give back. I wanted to have youth voices heard. I wanted kids to feel inspired to talk to other kids and share their ideas and what they think it means to be a kid these days. So I am just super excited to be doing this podcast. Doing Facebook Live anything is pretty scary. Um, usually um, my whole superpower is to... Um, my superpower is being a singer. So uh, I'm doing something that's totally out of my realm. And this is not about me. This is about the kids that I'm interviewing. And I just couldn't be more excited to share their ideas and to see what they want to do with their lives and to see what it for them what it means to be true to you. And and yeah, so I'm super excited. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. So I have interview questions that I'm going to be asking my two guest stars, Nico and Ezra. Woot, woot, woot. If you have any uh, questions that you want to ask them yourself, please feel free. Um, I can swoop in those comments and we can also ask the kids anything that you personally want to ask them um yeah so i'm really excited to get going thank you so much for joining and we have a special guest right off the bat right away who wants to say hi um biddy but biddy biddy everyone it's biddy the bee hey everyone this is biddy the bee biddy the bee is our mascot here at be true to you be true to you means biddy that's his name, AKA Biddy the Bee, be true to you. Again, we are super, super, super excited. Thank you so much for tuning in. Our special guests are gonna be joining us in a few minutes and uh, we can't wait to get started. So while we are getting ready, I was thinking that I could play some some music for you from my album, Be True to You. Um, I hope everyone can hear this. I am still super, super new at doing all this Facebook Live stuff. So uh, bear with me. If you're having any trouble hearing anything, um, please let me know. I am going to get this up right now. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to play some music for you guys. Let's get this going. I don't know if you should be seeing this. So this is like probably like part of the magic that you're probably not supposed to be seeing. I guess <laughs> I'm still really new at all this stuff. So yeah, we're gonna get this going. If everyone can hear me and hear the music, please let me know. China, China, what is growing up all about? There's lots to uncover and lots to discover about. Ooh, you are real friends, true friends, who will stick by you until the end. Sharing and caring and learning to trust is what friendship's all about. It's the courage to believe, the fear to actually succeed. But most importantly, it's about being true to you. Be true to you. Everyone for joining us. I see we have some eyeballs watching. 
I am so excited to be interviewing two special, special guests, guest stars of mine. I am super close friends with them, and I just, I can't wait to bring them in here into our interviewing process. They are going to let us know, the two interviewees, Nico and Ezra, they're going to let us know what it means to them to be true to you, what it means to be a kid these be days, true to and they even have an inspirational be words of wisdom you. for other kids. So, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for joining in for our Be Facebook true. Live! Being true to you. Be true to you. Being true to you. Be true to you. Be true to you. Ready? Be true to you. BTTY stands for Be True to You because it's not just for kids, it's a message for all of us. Being true to you. All right, Biddy. Biddy's gonna. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So Biddy just said that he's gonna he's gonna go somewhere. He's gonna go take a little trip. He wanted to go. Oh, he's gonna go try out some honey. He, yeah. There's a there's a guy selling honey out there, and he wants to he wants to go grab it before you know it sells out. So. All right. Okay. So Biddy's gonna go grab some honey. While he does that, uh, I'm gonna get ready to get our our guests in here. I think they are ready. And all right, we're gonna get started. Ah, Facebook Live. It's so scary. Okay, here we go. I am going to uh, introduce our guest stars of the day. Happy Saturday. Today we are interviewing two rock stars, Nico and Ezra. And uh, guys, give them a virtual round of applause. Snap, snap, snap for Nico and Ezra. Hello. Hey, Hi. guys. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I am good. I am going to lower this music. Could you hear that music, by the way, too? Yeah. Okay, awesome, because I am still getting used to all this Facebook Live stuff, so just wanted to make sure everyone could hear that music. Very cool. Guys, everyone watching, please, snap, snap, snap for Nico and Ezra. All right, guys, so first off, can you please tell everyone, how do we know each other? Um, well, we know each other from first rainy day recess. Yes. I do with you. Mm -hmm. um, but also, my mom is a big fan of Gogo -Go Bordello, so she has seen you a lot, and yeah. we have talked to you from there, too. And then yeah. Ezra know each other because we're brothers. Right. That's really important, and I feel like everyone should know about that. Very cool. <laughs> Guys, everyone, snap, snap, snaps again for Nico and Ezra. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm in the band Gogo -Go Bordello. For those of you who do not know that, um, Gogo -Go Bordello, along with all the other musicians and touring artists, uh, you know, everything is on hold right now because of COVID-19. Um, so unfortunately, we can't be performing, but, you know, we're all doing our thing what we can do at home just to make sure that we're all still creative. Um, so yeah, that's how I know Nico and Ezra's mom, Yana. Um, she is a wonderful friend of mine. Um, and Nico and Ezra have been joining in with me every Thursday for what we have come up with here at Be True Tea, which is called a rainy day recess series. And we talk about emotions. We do cool Mad Libs and games and drawing and challenges and water challenges and all this fun stuff. So um, guys, thank you so much for doing that with me. Okay. All right, so let's get started with your interview. Woot, woot, woot. All right, guys, so we have our first question of our interview. Here we go. Please share with us your name, your age, and where you are coming from right now. Uh, my name is Ezra. I am 10. I'm in fourth grade, and I come from the suburbs of Boston and Sudbury, and wing of in massachusetts nice awesome thank you for sharing thank you for sharing all right up next i am nico um my age is nine um i'm in third grade and the city and state that i live in is the suburbs of boston and we live in Sudbury, massachusetts Cool. All right. Snap, snap, snap for you guys. Thank you so much for being on the show. I am so excited to have you boys on here. All right. So um, next question. Can you, well, we already did that one. So <laughs> next question. What do you think it's like being a kid these days prior to COVID-19? I know COVID-19 is the topic of every conversation right now, but before that happened, what was it like being a kid? Well, I mean, right now being a kid is really hard 
um, because you don't get to spend much time with your friends and homeschool is hard learning new things like that. True. Um, and it's kind of hard with the friend thing because I bet a bunch of people have lost their friends because they can't talk to them and like hang out with them. Right. So, I personally think it's super hard, but I've been staying in touch with my friends. Mm -hmm. So I am good right now. Good. Well, that's awesome. So, okay. Uh, but question for you. So before COVID-19 happened, before this pandemic, what was it, what was your, what was it like being a typical kid? Like, what would you do for fun? What did you do with um, your friends? It was kind of normal. Um, I did school, actual school. Um, I hung out with my neighborhood friends a lot and I hung out with my friends that don't live too far away. Some of them live far away. Some of them don't. And I hung out with them a lot. Okay. So I was hanging out with my friends and now it's super different. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for sharing. All right, Ezra, what about you? So what is it like being a kid? Yeah, so nowadays with COVID-19, being a kid is harder by a lot because like Nico said, I can't see all my friends, but it's still cool because when I grow up and become an adult, it'll be an interesting story for me to share with everybody. Yeah. It's going to be a very interesting story to share. Cool. And did you, do you have a lot of friends in the neighborhood? Like before COVID, were you able to like hang out with people in say in your own community? Where did you have to drive to go see your friends? Um, yeah, we, I have a good amount of friends in the neighborhood. I was hanging out a lot with my friends during school and after school while waiting and such, but I also had like some activity every day of the week. Okay. So I was hanging out with my friends then, like with either my band friends, my ninja warrior friends, or like my acting friends. Oh, cool. You do acting? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. That's awesome. Yeah, we cool. just picked up the Lion King. Virtual. Oh, yes, the Lion King. Oh, very cool. Right, 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 right. Okay, oh, awesome. Guys, snap, 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 snaps for you. Thank you so much for answering that question. All right, our next question on for you. Uh, what does a typical school day look like for you? So not right now homeschooling, not the COVID-19 homeschool way, but like before COVID, what did a typical day of school look like? When did you wake up? What? How was school for you? You came home from school. What'd you do? Um. Yeah, so we wake up around when a typical school day, we woke up around eight, I did every day, um, ate breakfast, did some schoolwork, like homework, if I had to, like filling out something. Um, then we'd walk down to the bus stop. And uh, yeah, we have like a good half a mile walk down to the bus stop. And then we talk and wait with our friends. Then we get to school. Mm -hmm. school. Depending on the day, some days we go back on the bus home. Some days I, my parents would drive me back home. But uh, then what happened was I just either did homework or had something like band practice. Um, but it was definitely pretty average. Okay. Okay, so for you, it was pretty average. All right, Nico, what about for you? What would you say your day of school was like? He said he woke up around 7 or 8. I set my alarm clock for 6.40. I always liked waking up early so I could eat breakfast and get ready. Okay. So I woke up, ate breakfast, which was usually cereal because that's my favorite breakfast food. Right, you said that the other day. This is true, yes. <laughs> um, and... After I eat breakfast, I didn't really do homework because I don't, I didn't get much homework like at all. Wow. Okay. I two or three fun activities that I could do quickly. Cool. Um, so I usually didn't do any homework in the morning. But okay. I just sat down on my couch ready and I might think like, maybe once or twice, which is kind of crazy. We actually got to the bus stop before everyone else. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, whenever that happens, because like we didn't have watches until a little bit ago, we okay. were always worried that we might be late for the bus. Mm -hmm. And then like when we see people coming, we're relieved because <laughs> like we're just standing there for five minutes. Like, right. What? That's fun. You know, I lived so close to my school that I could walk to my school. I was like, I was always five, five houses away from my elementary school. And then I was like seven houses away from my high school and like, like 15 houses away from my, my middle school. So I could walk everywhere. So I always woke up super late. I'm, I still wake up late to everything. Like I would, I, if I have to be somewhere, I will wake up like five minutes after I should have woken up and I, I always get somewhere late. <laughs> that's just, that's how I'll roll. It's not good, but that's just, that's in me, unfortunately. I'm a late person. But um, all right, guys, cool. Snaps for you, snaps for you. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, our next question for you is, what is or what was your favorite subject in school and why? So who wants to go first? I will. All right, Nico. So in my old school, um, my Montessori school, which was really different, like a lot different. Um, I really liked uh, art because some years I got to just like do whatever I wanted and there was like no instruction. And then some year was just like all instruction. Okay. And I liked the parts when it was not instructions because okay. I don't like instructions. Okay, you don't like instructions. You like you just like doing things on your own. Like if you feel oh, it, you're just gonna do it. You're gonna paint it if you feel it. Yeah, I sometimes like them, but like sometimes they're a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get that. Cool. Okay, so art was your favorite subject. All right. So Ezra, what about you? What is your favorite subject? So I, my favorite subject now is social studies. Okay. Because it's very fascinating to learn about all the people and places in the world. Yeah. Um, I'm also a fan of social studies because it's the only subject in my new school where um, I get to switch teachers. Like I go into a different teacher's classroom, which is a cool experience. Oh, that's neat. That's really cool. Um, so what are you studying right now in uh, social studies? Um, the West region of the United States. Cool, that's so really fun. Right at my new school, I like gym because our gym teacher plays a lot of the music I like, and there's so many like really fun activities. Your gym teacher plays music in class? That's so cool. I don't think I remember, I don't think my gym teachers played any music. Well, he plays like good music. Yeah, my old teacher played kids bop and it was in his, in his with his phone and it was in his pocket so nobody could hear it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fun. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for sharing. All right. Our next question. What has been one of your favorite moments that has happened to you in school so far in your life? I personally really love it when I get to watch a movie in school. Okay. Because it doesn't take much work to sit and watch a fun movie. Well, this is true. Usually, what classes do you usually watch a movie in? Like, who's the teacher that usually puts um, that on? I only have one teacher. Oh, okay, right. For all my other subjects, of course, I have other teachers. But in my classroom, I only have one teacher. Okay. And she let us watch, like, Finding Nemo for no reason. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's fun. Well, maybe there, maybe there was, like, a lesson about Finding Nemo, right? Maybe the lesson is, like... Well, I mean, maybe she wanted you to interpret it and think about it later on. So like you go home and you talk about, hey, mom, dad, we watched Finding Nemo. And I learned that it's really important to be with your family, right? Maybe that's what she was trying to say, that family is important. And I also watched a movie about time traveling turkeys. Oh, okay. I don't really know what the message would be for that one, but that's just oh. cool, time traveling turkeys. I mean, obviously, why not? Um, okay, Ezra, what about you? What's one of your favorite moments that's happened to you? Um, so in my new school, one of my favorite moments was really just getting on the first day and everybody welcoming me. Okay. But one of my favorite moments throughout was last year when me and my friend it wasn't that big of a celebration, but we celebrated our five-year friendship. 
Oh, I love that. Who is this friend of yours? Um, His name is William. Shout out, William. What's up? <laughs> That's really cool. Very cool. Five-year friendship. That's really important to have. Friends are really important, especially especially now. Do you talk to William still? Uh, yeah, I talk to him like every day. Cool. That's yeah. cool. I have, and, do you have a friend that you talk to all the time? I have a four. I have a four-year friend. Um, we don't really know the day that we met. Okay, that's okay. Um, what, are you guys? what? We don't really celebrate. We just say, "Oh wait, it's our fifth year." It's our fourth year. Yeah, sure, of course, okay. cool. Um, what about you guys? Are you guys close as brothers? Are you guys like really good friends? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. So, like, if you guys do things together, like, if you guys do things with your own separate friends, would you invite each other into those friendship circles? Depends what. We're yeah, doing. like with my friend Luca, which is the one that I've been friends with for four years. Um, uh, I call him like a lot now, mm -hmm. and I really like it when Ezra joins us. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm sure Ezra vice versa, right? You guys need your yeah. own privacy sometimes, right? You guys, yeah. just because you're brothers doesn't mean you have to do everything together. You need to be, have your individual lives. Yeah. We also have friends, like um, two also brothers named Aiden and Jason, mm -hmm. who are our equal friend. Oh, cool. That's fun. That's great. And you guys, I mean, you guys right now, you're doing the interview together. You guys have been taking my class on Thursdays together. You guys have a really great relationship together, too. So that's really cool. Yeah. Awesome, guys. All right. Uh, next question. Can you remember something one of your teachers told you? Something that has stuck with you in a positive way or changed the way that you think? Um, Who wants to go first? Uh, so I had a you teachers in my first, second, and third grade. I had the same teachers. I was okay. at first school. And um, they, I just remember all of them being very encouraging and knowing when I needed help and were asking me when I needed help, which was super nice because at my other school, just my teacher is so busy. Mm every all the work because there's only one teacher there used to be like two sometimes three or okay. four so she can help me but like it takes time for me to ask her and wait but with these teachers they knew like when i needed help and that was super helpful that's great yeah that makes you feel like like you're being heard and that you're like that people are noticing and yeah, like you don't have to just go to them yourself and be like, Hey, like I need help, but they're like taking the cues and they're seeing those cues about you. That's awesome. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing. All right, Nico, what about you? Can you remember something one of your teachers told you or something well, that they've done that stuck with you? Something that my teacher did, my, um, the teacher that came in the last year I was at Summit Montessori in my old school. Um, was he wrote a song with all of our names into it, in it, and it was just kind of fun. Oh, that's awesome. Do you remember how the song went? No. Ah, man. That's a really cool idea. Was, Here's a really video cool. somewhere. There we okay. Go. All right, well, I'm gonna try to scope that out later. But that's really cool when like a teacher includes your name. Like, how did that make you feel when the teacher would say your own personal name? It felt pretty cool. I mean, feels fun, but like, I knew that he was saying everybody's name and it was kind of weird that he knew and it was just like his first day there. So I felt a little weird, but <laughs> I found out that he must have done all of our names. He had like a really good memory. Yeah. He must have followed the checklist as well. Yeah, name. he must have like had all your names prior to all that. That's really <laughs> cool. Guys, snap, 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 snaps for you guys. So. The offer. Thank you, everyone, who is tuning in right now and who is watching this. Again, I just want to say that we are interviewing two rock stars. Uh, we're interviewing Ezra and Nico. Woot, woot, woot. Ezra and Nico, say hey to your audience. Hello. <laughs> Very cool. Have you guys ever done a Facebook Live before? No. I have. Just a little while ago, I did one about... Um, what would you do? What kind of Facebook Live was it? I did one about uh, a bunny that my dog kind of broke. Oh, wait, yeah. you, like it was your Facebook live? No, yeah. it was my mom's, but I was telling the story. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So we like brought, Facebook live doesn't scare you. You're, you're like a pro at this already. We brought, not really. 
Only Danny ones. <laughs> cool, guys. Well, again, everyone, thank you so much, everyone who is checking us out and who is tuned in to us. Again, we are interviewing two rock star kids, Ezra and Nico. We're talking to them about what it means to be true to you, what it means to be a kid these days. And for our next question, I have another really special guest who's just going to, uh, he's back from, from getting some more honey. Um, hey, hey, Betty, you're back. Oh, okay. So Betty said that honey was really good. Did you save me any of the honey? What do you mean you didn't save? Wow. Okay. So he said he was really hungry and he ate all of the honey and didn't save any for me. That is just so rude. Oh, okay. So Biddy wants to know, Ezra and Nico, would you guys ever save honey for each other or would you just eat it all like Biddy just did for me? Actually, I can't have too much honey. I just don't like way too much honey. So you could probably have the entire jar. Oh, Biddy is stunned. He is stunned. You can't have too much honey. Well, I am not long. So probably the whole thing would just be too much for me. If okay. like, I had a chance to space it out, I'd probably like, he'd probably get some here and there. I would like, cut the jar in half and be like, here is your half, take it. Oh, see Biddy, see, sharing, sharing is caring. Okay, he said he would still just eat all the honey himself. Okay, that's just rude. Anyway, so Biddy is here because we have our next question and it actually has to do with, uh, you know, kind of relates to Biddy. So Biddy, do you wanna, do you wanna? Okay, so he's a little shy right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the, the message for you. So it says here, the next question, have you ever been bullied before in or out of school? If not, have you ever seen a bullying incident? And if not, if you were to ever see one, what would you do? How do you think that you would react to that situation? So me, myself, I don't remember ever being bullied. Oh, I, good. I wasn't really hurt or anything. I think I wasn't bullied that much. But my friend at my new school is um, bullied a lot and called names. Oh no, okay. I sometimes ask people to stop, but it's sometimes just a little too much for me to do it. Okay. It, ha it happens like every day. Really? Okay. He says that he's okay with it, but he's not. Oh man, okay, so you have asked kids to stop Okay, so Biddy wants to know, have you ever talked to a teacher? Have you ever gone to an adult about it in your school? I haven't really gone to an adult yet because it hasn't been like the worst bullying. Okay. It's not like the worst, it's not way too bad. It's it's just like calling him names and it's still bad, but it's not the worst. Okay, oh, okay, Biddy has a question. So, okay, so have you, have you ever talked to your friend about this? Have you ever asked him how he feels about I this? Don't really talk to him like that. Um, he's he's kind of more of a new friend for me. Okay, I've been friends with him for too long, so I don't want to like get into his business yet. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 sure. Personal questions. Um, you know what? I think it'd be really great that um, I understand that he's a new friend, but maybe does he know that like he can come to you if he needs? Like as long as you just tell him that, yeah. He knows, he's asked me stuff before. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, just as long as he knows that if it gets really bad that you're there for him and mm -hmm. um, and just that you guys are aware that to go to an adult if you if you need to, if the situation gets out of hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just wanna make sure, just keep an eye on him. So like how Ezra was saying that his teacher um, was like, you know, like you didn't have to go to your teacher, Ezra, like your teacher was able to like see the cues if you needed help about anything, right? Um, so yeah, Nico, just make sure that you're just visually aware of what's going on around him. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing and thank you for trying to stand up. I know it's, it's, it's really tough situation. It's, it's, it's really hard cause you don't know exactly what to do in the moment. Every situation is different. Mm -hmm. Um, but as long as you are aware and if it gets worse, then you talk to an adult about it. Yeah. Cool. Ezra, what about you? Have you ever been bullied? Have you ever seen a bullying incident? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, so there is one kid, I'm not going to do names, but um, he has bullied me before, but it's not because of the way I am or do, because he's like bullied a good amount of people. Um, I don't, I'm not exactly sure why, but 
my friend has stood up for me multiple times. Well, not multiple, but a few times when this has happened. And it's happened to him a couple times, and I've stood up for him, too. So we stood up for each other. Wow. Okay, well, that's great. Well, I'm glad you guys have stood up for each other. How did it... How did it, or, or how does it make you feel when when you get bullied for for something? Um, I mean, not great. That's for sure. Do you talk? Do you come? Do you guys come home and like? Do you did you talk to your parents about it? Like, what did your parents have to say? A story about um, my brother's bully is he was at our summer camp and he was mean to both of us. Mm -hmm. Um, and it wasn't really fun at all. Okay. Um, so we did tell our, um, our parents and they sent an email. They sent an email. Okay. So okay. that's happened. But like at my school, we have told a couple, we've told a teacher and we have dealed with it. So he stops a lot more. Okay. Instead of doing it like to me twice a week. It's went down to like once a month. And it's not that he's bullying me. He he just sometimes accuses me of things of like bullying him. Mm. What happened was like we were playing a game of hide and seek. Mm -hmm. I fell. It was like kind of winter, so I fell and my pants got soaking wet. Okay. So I just went to sit down for a bit and he accused me of like bullying him and just leaving him behind. And people told him that that wasn't it, but he still thought that. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, I see what happened. Okay, well, at least that you guys, at least that you you know what happened, right, to the situation. You you understand that. You spoke to your adult. You spoke to a guardian, and everyone is aware of the situation, right? Uh huh. Okay. Um. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And what do, what do you guys do when you feel? bullied if you feel like you're being picked on is there something that you turn to to make you feel better um i typically either tell a teacher or just walk away okay and then that kind of like cools it off and then you start to feel better about things nico what about you what i've done before is i've just like changed the subject okay like something totally different mm -hmm. so like if somebody's bullying my friend i just change it to like a different Okay, cool. All right. So you got you diffuse the situation that way. Cool. Guys, thank you so much for sharing. Um, okay, Biddy says thank you so much for being brave. Um, but now he he wants to go try to find some more honey um because he is still hungry for honey. Okay, so okay, I hope he shares some with me next time because that would be really nice. Um guys, seriously, thank you. Snaps for you. Thank you so much for sharing your story on that. Um, all right, next question. If you could pick any dream job when you get older, what would that be and why? Um, so I've had this dream job for a while. Um, when I was little, my dream job changed like every day. Okay. So for a good amount of time, I've had a job, dream job to be an actor, like not in Broadway and like movies and TV shows. Mm-hmm such but in my job of being an actor also put a musical like drumming thing to it for example like freddie from school of rock oh. also plays the drums and i'm fine if like i'm not playing the drums mm -hmm. or it's just like something musical but i'm like that cool i love that have you have you ever seen or heard about the Broadway show or the off-Broadway show called Stomp? Yeah, I've seen it. I've been to it. It was awesome. Oh, it was awesome, right? Yeah. I actually know one of the uh, the Stomp actor drummers in that in that show. Yeah. yeah, he's really cool. Such a cool guy. Maybe I'll try to put you guys in touch sometime. That'd be fun. Or like, have you seen Blue Man Group or yeah, heard of them? I've heard of them. I've never seen it. Have you guys seen it? We've seen, seen it twice. twice. Um, they are like very funny acting kind of, but they also do like paint drumming where they put paint on the drum and do it. And like, it yeah. Oh, that was so cool. That would be such a fun job. Yeah. That's fun. 
Oh, wow. I would really help you achieve that job. That would be awesome. That would be great, Ezra. Thank you so much for sharing. Nico, what about you? What is your dream job? For me, I've never really, I mean, it's been hard for me because, like, I've thought about this question. Everybody asks me. Okay. I mean, my answer would be I really always wanted to be a chemist. I don't know why. I just feel like it would be really cool. Wow. I don't really exactly know though because i don't know what's gonna come my way well of course of course but like, you know um I that's really, what's so great about this what? i really have one job i'd want to be a chemist cool and why why a chemist do you know someone that's a chemist no i don't really i just really think that all the all the cool like mixing stuff and all that lab stuff is kind of cool yeah that's awesome i mean well, you should start now, right? Maybe you can help people with the COVID nineteen. Maybe you can help get us a um, you know, what's a, what, what? What do we need? Um, yeah, yeah, vaccine. Maybe you can help us with the vaccine. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I think we're counting on you. Maybe that's why we don't have one yet. Maybe we're waiting for you, Nico. You got to get started. Now I have pressure on myself. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. That is a huge inspiration. And I really hope you do become a chemist. And if you don't become a chemist, that's totally fine too. I mean, you don't have to decide now, but if you if you dream it, you really can achieve it. You know, um, my dream, I never thought that I was going to be, I mean, I always dreamt of performing in front of like thousands of people, right? But I didn't actually know that that would come true one day, you know, with Gogo Bordello performing in front of like 90,000 people like what does that even mean like I that's just insane so you know honestly if you if you dream it and you work hard enough you can you can get whatever you want to out of life so that's really cool guys snaps for you that's so cool thank you for sharing all right next question who is your role model and why uh, you can go I'll go so I um I really like um I think a good role model are my parents. They're oh, I love that. great people and they've taught me a lot of great things. Oh, I love that. Oh, parents, I hope you're watching this interview right now. That's so cool. Thank you for sharing that, Nico. Uh, Ezra, what about you? Who is your role model and why? Um. So yeah, that was mine too. Uh, my parents, because they've just taught me so much about the world and how to be a good person and treat people fairly. And that's something that I will be very thankful that I'm given. I was joking around about saying my role model is going to be Adam Sandler. Okay. Okay. But then you chose your parents. Yeah. If it can't be your parents, Adam Sandler is the next the next yeah. candidate. Um, guys, thanks, thanks for sharing. I mean, I, I personally know your parents and your mom. I know your mom really well. And she's a wonderful person. And she's raised you guys so well. I mean, the classes that we do on Thursdays, you guys are you guys are so intelligent and you speak so well. And you guys are just such fun kids to be around. And it seems like you come from a really loving home. So that's awesome. So snaps to you, snaps to your parents, really cool. Okay, so next question. Our program's title is called Be True to You, which stands for, well, Biddy's name, Be True to You, our mascot here. How do you think being true to you has applied to you before COVID-19, right? And then how does it apply to you now or how has it changed since COVID-19? I mean, being true to myself has always been something I've, tried to do and before COVID-19 I've just been well, being myself and doing everything I can to becoming true to myself but during COVID-19 I think it's especially important to be tr to be true to you because it's just if you're not yourself during this it's going to be a lot harder to get through it. Yeah, of course. That's very well said. Thank you so much. Nico, what about you? How do you well, think you've been true to yourself? I think that before COVID, I think that it was a little bit easier and I was feeling pretty good and I was being pretty, pretty well. But now that it's COVID, it's a lot harder to do be true to you. Um, and like try to do those words, but like 
sometimes I just try to be myself and mm-hmm. sometimes really hard. You think it's really hard now? Can you, me, can, can you give me like an example of a time when you've been thinking it's been hard and you just want to be yourself? Yeah, sometimes like when I'm doing my schoolwork, mm-hmm. I just feel like I kind of want to do this, but then I want to do this now to get it out of the way. And sometimes I'm just like, I want to be myself and do my own choice. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I do the choice that I'm not really okay with going with. Okay. So do more. Because, like, um, all, all the time I am trying to get out all my work, or I've been trying. Um, mm-hmm. But now it's. Um, yeah. Now it's a little bit harder because yeah. um, after a while of doing all the schoolwork, it right. become like, I want to do it daily now, but then I want to get it all done so I have a free Friday. Okay. Okay. No, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. Oh. Um, okay. I have a question for you going off of this. So if you guys had to close your eyes and envision and imagine a place or a moment where you felt your truest, right? Where would that be? Would that be in a different place in the world? Would that be with your dog? Would that be in your backyard? Would that be playing the drums? Would that be yeah. drawing? I think like you said, it would probably be me at one of my concerts. At one of your concerts? For me, I just feel like I kind of belong in Greece. I don't know why, but we were at Greece like um, a while ago. So I would like to be at Greece right now with my dogs, although that wasn't fun. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing that. Guys, snaps for you. That is awesome. I like that. Okay. Our next question. What does your daily routine look like now during COVID-19? What do you, what is your homeschooling like now? What do you do? What does your day look like? What I do? You wake up at 640 in the morning? No, I wake up at like 8 o'clock now. Okay, good. Okay. I wake up at eight o'clock, I eat breakfast and I do schoolwork and I need 7,500 steps and it needs to be four o'clock for me to go on screen. Oh. So, except for on the weekends, I need t- 10,000 steps to get screen next day. Yeah. That is awesome. I Whoa. like that. But That's a cool model. I go on a walk and I try to get every all the steps I can in and I try to do all my schoolwork. And when I'm done with that, I usually go on screen for the rest of the day and talk to my friends and watch TV. Okay, cool. How long is it? How long does it take now for you to do your schoolwork at home? So, like, you know, you went from eight hours to to what? Maybe around like three or four hours. It takes me a long time. Okay. Three or four hours. Cool. Ezra, uh, let's do that question, and then you can tell me the rest of what your daily routine looks like. So how many hours for you? Like, you, it used to be eight hours going to school, and now how long does it take for you oh, to do your work? Probably each subject, like, daily, maybe an hour. But what has been happening, like, what my daily routine is now is I wake up on Monday around 9, 8, I don't know. I eat breakfast. Um, I try to knock out all my schoolwork for the week. Oh, okay. This week was especially short. I knocked it all out by like Tuesday, start of Wednesday. And then from that, I just, like Nico said, I walk. I do walking. I uh, draw. I listen to music. I do that and then like on friday and thursday i slept in until like 10. i had no schoolwork to do so why not that is awesome wow okay i'm liking this i'm liking the later times (laughs) that's cool but i like the fact that you do all your schoolwork in like basically like a day and a half well it's more like three to two days Cool. That's great. And then, so then when you do the rainy day recess with me on Thursdays, that's like, you're usually have free time then. Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. Do you guys help each other with your homework or do you guys do it separately? 
separately? No, I sometimes ask him for help, and sometimes that's all, but sometimes not. Cool. And who who does the homeschooling? Who teaches you guys how to homeschool? Your mom or your dad, or both? My mom, my dad, and my teacher does zooms with my entire class and posts like videos and instructions for every single. One. Cool. I love that. Awesome. Thank you guys um, for sharing. For everyone that is tuning in or have been watching or just tuned in, uh, we are interviewing. This is our Buzz Social Virtual Podcast. We are interviewing two rock stars, Ezra and Nico. Woot, woot, woot. These kids are super cool. They're talking about what it means to be true to them, what it's like to be a kid these days. And we're just having conversations because, you know, conversations start with our youth. So that's what we're doing. We are engaging conversations, positive, and we're hopefully hopefully empowering other kids just like them. So, all right, our next question. Have you ever thought of making a time capsule? If so, what would you put in it? And what do you want to remember about this time? Well, well actually, we made, a, we made a time capsule with you. Yes. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> so, tell, tell, tell your audience, tell your fans. I have made a time capsule before. What did you put in the time capsule? I put a song into the time capsule. And other people put like in drawings. interview drawings. My brother did drawings and yeah, animations, animations. Yeah. yeah, that was so awesome, guys! Thank you so much for participating in that. Was can you tell me and tell your fans about the experience? How was it uh, making Ooh. a time capsule? It was it really was cool. Fun seeing the final result. Yeah, wasn't it cool seeing how everyone else um, wanted to remember this time and what they thought was significant mm -hmm. for them? I watched everything and then I kind of hid from my part because I don't like watching. I know we were watching the we were watching everything and then your part came up and I was like, "Uh, where is Nico?" <laughs> <laughs> for everyone who's watching, yeah. So everyone, so I do the rainy day recess series with kids on Thursdays, and we did a time capsule projects, and it was so funny because what we did is everyone gave me like. Some people gave me drawings, some people gave me animations, some people wrote a song, um, like Nico, right? Someone uh, interviewed a nurse. Um, so what I did is I compiled all these interviews that the kids did and all these pictures and animations and I put it together in a video format. And on our last Rainy Day Recess uh, show workshop on Thursday, I showed them what they did. And Nico's part comes up and I'm literally like, where did Nico go? Like he just like went away. And then as soon as your part was over, there you came, you were back. <laughs> so that was fun. Did you guys watch it after again? Cause I sent it to you and your parents. Um, yeah. Also at the start of my other school year, I mean, at the start of my school year, we made a time capsule with my handprint, my footprint. Oh, cool. the length, my length with string and, um, what else did we use? We used, uh, like, I wrote some stuff to see how much my handwriting changed. Oh, that is fun. Yeah. That's really cool. Awesome. All right, we're, I'm just looking over here to see what, some comments that we got. Someone just said, woo, 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 when we were talking about those time capsules. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to our next question. Can you share with us one thing that no one knows about you? It could be funny, serious, whatever you'd like. I think because you guys are brothers, can you, is there anything that you don't know about each other? I found something out about him today that I didn't know. What? Uh, here. But my thing is... A lot, a lot of people don't know this. You do, um, but like practically nobody knows. I have three life-size cutouts: two of superheroes Thor and Aquaman, and one of a warthog and meerkat. That is very cool. I have seen them. Yes, I have seen them. I'm going to share because along the lines of that, I don't think everyone knows that I have two life-size cutouts in my house. <laughs> um, one is from uh, Twin Peaks. Agent Cooper, and then the other one is Harry Potter, because duh, I love Harry Potter. So <laughs> that's that. Uh, Nico, what are uh, what's something that? Wait, wait, wait. What's the, wait? Hold on. Before Nico goes, Ezra, what's what's the thing that you learned about Nico today? Oh, that's what he's gonna go. Share. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. go. Well, my mom yeah. and my brother didn't know this about me, but my favorite food is Italian food. Ooh, that is my favorite food, and you guys didn't know this? No. <laughs> wow. I thought favorite food was like American, like chicken fingers and mac and cheese. He goes like, no. 
It has pasta and salmon. Uh, oh, yeah. Pasta and salmon. My favorite is penne al vodka sauce. Oh, and from traveling with Gogol all around the world, I like to go into like all these Italian restaurants and I always get the same exact Italian dish, just penne al vodka with like chicken. And I'm just, I'm making like a, like a mental note of all, like the best penne al vodka sauce in the world. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Yeah. I do chicken fingers. I like try to get all the chicken fingers I can and see which ones are the best. Oh, that's so cool. Far, so far, Rhode Island is the best chicken fingers. Oh, that's cool. So far, Rhode Island. Cool. I think I've had the best penne vodka sauce here in Astoria so far. Yeah. And penne vodka, it's, that's not really like a real, vodka sauce is not like a big thing in Italy, which was, I was like, what? So that was a little upsetting because I was like, can I have penne vodka? And they were like, we don't have that here. But it's a little weird because like fortune cookies were created by Americans. That is true. I haven't had a fortune cookie in a while. I should get one of those soon. Um, guys, thanks for sharing. Right, next question, next question. We have a hashtag here with our program, Be Your Inner Warrior. So if you had to pick a warrior name, which you do, uh, what would your warrior name be and why? So my warrior name would be Nico because Nico actually means warrior. Wow. Like, that's so cool. That's awesome. Nico, the warrior. All right, Ezra, what about you? Uh, I'm not thousand percent sure. Okay. Do you want to think on it? Yeah. Like, I have this name in a game I play. It's Ezra Ghost Sword. Ezra Ghost Sword. Have you ever used this before? Uh, in the game, and I use it in other games, but... It's an interesting one I might use. Okay, Ezra Ghost Sword. It has a it has a fun little ring to it. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Thank you for sharing. All right, next question. Um, if you could create your own emoji, which you know you have to think about it right now, what would it look like? I would create a pug emoji if there isn't already one. Oh, I love that. I, I like that. I love my pug so much wherever he is. So I want him to have his own emoji. Oh, that's so cool. All right, Ezra, what about you? What kind of, what would your emoji look like? It would be a winking narwhal with a wing, with a rainbow tooth because its horn is actually a tooth. Wow, that sounds really complex and really cool. I like <laughs> it. There was one kid that I interviewed, actually Blake. Um, he's another, Blake is another kid from our Rainy Day Recess series on Thursdays. Um, I asked him this question and I can't remember exactly what he said, but he, he said to his mom, he was like, I think that Ashley is gonna totally create all these emojis. <laughs> and I was like, that would be awesome. <laughs> so my goal is to uh, go back into all these podcasts and see what everyone said and hopefully <clears throat> cough, cough. If someone is watching who is an animator or uh, someone who has a lot of money and wants to fund this project for me, um, <laughs> then I can make all these emojis for all these kids, which would be really cool. Um, okay, so now, ooh, I think we are done with, our, with those questions. So you might think that our interview is over, but it is not because now we're going to play a game called This or That. Have you guys ever played that before? No. 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 Okay. So basically you have to have to choose between this or that. So while we do that, I'm going to put some music on and is that too loud or is that that's good? No, it's good? You can hear it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, and you can still hear me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So our game is called this or that. So here we go. I'm going to go with Ezra first. Okay. So ready? Sunrise or sunset? Uh, perfect. All right, sweet or savory? Sweet. Sun or moon? Moon. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Take a risk or just relax? Take a risk. Park or the beach? Park. Family time or me time? Family time. Do it yourself project or buy it? Do it yourself. Okay. So now I'm going to go with Nico. Nico, Nico, Nico. Okay, so now, ready? A TV series or movies? Uh, Minion movies. Hold on. I think this is actually, this volume is actually a little too loud. Oh, I can do it over here. Oh, there we go. So much better. Okay. Uh, TV series or movies? Um, All right, cool. Uh, read books or listen to a podcast? Um, listen to a podcast. Cook food or order in? Order in. 
Wake up early or sleep late? Wake up early, definitely. Oh, oh my God. Alone time or family time? <laughs> family time. Learn a new dish or learn a new skill? Learn a new skill. Do chores or declutter a mess? Declutter a mess. Uh, work out or relax? Relax. Ezra, movie marathon or TV series binge watching? Uh, TV series. Uh, Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, or Disney Plus? Ezra. Disney Plus. Disney. All right, Nico, what about you? Disney Plus, definitely. Disney Plus. All right, this is for both of you. So Nico first. Non-vegan, vegan, or vegetarian? Non-vegan. Okay. And Ezra, non-vegan, vegan, or vegetarian? Which one I am or which one I want to be? Which one you are? Uh, not vegan. Non-vegan? Awesome, guys. Snap, snap, snap. Okay, we have one more thing to do. You guys are stranded on a deserted island. Just the two of you. And you can only have five things. Oh. Uh, but you, but you, you guys have to work together as a team. Wait, we have five things together? Together. together. I know. So if you guys want to discuss, if you guys want to do a little powwow, you guys got five things. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining in with our Buzz Social podcast. Woot, woot, woot. Um, we are interviewing two rock stars, Nico and Ezra. Right now, I gave them a question. I said to them, you're on a deserted island. You can only have five things to choose on your deserted island, and you can only choose them together. So um, they are powwowing it to see what they're going to bring on this deserted island. So okay, we got it. Are you ready? Wait. Uh, first one. Kind of absurd. Wait, what? Ours are kind of absurd. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. A house. What? what? A house. Two houses. A house. Yes, that's a, that's important. All right, two. Two houses. Another house. Oh. Okay, so you have one house, then you have two houses. Your guys are in separate houses? Yeah. Yeah. A boat. Okay. All right, that's two. All right. What's your third? A boat. A boat. Okay. Another boat. Another boat. <laughs> In an apple tree. In an apple tree? Yeah. Okay. I that was very unique, guys. Thank you. That was, that was, that was awesome. I love that you guys each have your own boat. <laughs> I, I thought you were I thought you guys were like friendly brothers, but you know, apparently you guys want to have your own house. Your own house too. But then you share the apple tree. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because that's, yeah, of course, obviously. Okay, so before you go, uh, do you guys have any social media sites or special talent that you'd like to share with us? Uh, well, I put it up. I have my band's YouTube, so I can show one of the songs we did. Oh, you have it up? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, how do we, okay, so. Here, uh, I think we can screen share. Let me just get yeah. it up Yes. Talent, talent, talent. Uh, ooh. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh. Do I have to stop sharing, or your, or anything, or no? Let me see. Screen share. Share screen. Share screen. Uh. Oh, I think we have a special guest who wants to come, and he. Oh, he. Oh, Biddy is back. Biddy is back. Everyone, in case everyone was 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 sad that Biddy wasn't here. Biddy is back because he wants to see the, the band, the band showing. Oh, okay, so I get to, oh, here we go. So now I have to put it up. Okay, now I can go here, I think. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't hear it that that well. Oh. There you go. Thank you. 
No, this is so cool, guys! Everyone, everyone watching, let's give it up for Snap for Ezra and Nico. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra! Thank you so much for sharing this. Yeah. This is so cool. And so, do you have your own YouTube channel? Um, Crack the Void does our band. Cool. Wait, what is it called? Can you put it in the private chat for me, and then I can put it up? Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah, sure. Well, yeah, we're not I, sure if I can get to the private chat. Okay, let me just get. I'm gonna remove that from the stream. There we go. And if you can get over to that private chat, that'd be really cool. And I will put up for everyone who is watching. I'm gonna put up Ezra's band. All right. So right, all right, all right. And we gotta crack the void that was your mom crack the void guys this is this is ezra's band crack the void thank you so much for showing that that is so super cool yeah. um all right now we are almost done with our interview here um before we go yes the name is crack the void we got that crack the void is the name of his band super super cool all right so everyone before we go um, we all have good days and bad days, but I do believe that we are all extremely fortunate to wake up in the morning and contribute to making a difference. That is what this podcast is all about, making a difference and helping those in need, especially right now when our country and the whole world needs this the most, right? So in order to do all this, to, to help everyone, to make a difference in the world, can you guys say a pledge with me? This is actually Biddy the B's pledge. Biddy the B, B-T-T-Y stands for Be True to You. Can everyone, can you guys pledge with me? Can you put your right hand up in the air? Then you're gonna cross your thumb like this. Awesome, this is a B for Biddy the Bee. And can you repeat after me? I pledge to follow Biddy the Bee. I pledge to follow Biddy the Bee. And promise to stay true. And promise to stay true. We will take the sting out of bullying. We'll take the sting out of bullying. Together, me and you. Together, me and you. Awesome, guys. Snap, snap, snap. Is there anything else that you want to say? If you had to give advice to another kid right now, right, with everything that's going on in the world, what can you say? What, what is like a little send off that you can tell your audience? You can tell that kid. Uh, Nico, you want to go first? I would say just stay calm and everything will be okay. Um, it will end eventually and we are all all right right now. I love that. Thank you so much. Ezra, what about you? What's your little send off? Um, I guess. It doesn't matter who you are or what you look like, but to be true to yourself and that you should know that we're all in this together. I love that. That was really awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Snap, snap, snaps. Can you say goodbye to your audience? 
Bye. Bye, audience. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm going to remove them. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in here at Buzz Social. This was another virtual virtual live um, podcast uh, starring two really awesome rock star kids, Ezra and Nico. Ezra and Nico, thank you guys so much. We are all in this together. Um, if there's anything that you feel like you can do or anything that you think that you want to do right now, just remember within your community, just help each other. We're all in this together. Um, I love you all. And I am, I like to say that we are the whole world is like it's like a garden right and in order for all of us to grow we got to water ourselves so i am sending some water i'm watering you all right now watering you guys with love i love you all thank you so much please tune in again next saturday and if you know a kid that wants to be on this podcast send them our way because like i said this podcast is not about me it's not about me singing which is usually what i do this podcast is about you it's about our kids it's about our community so um, I, I love that. Thank you, Yana. Watering you back. I love that, guys. So spread some water, water someone in your community, and we hope to see you next Saturday. Love you all. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the weekend. Bye, guys. Peace.